Tonight we are learning of two more storm-related deaths. And deputies say an 89-year-old man in Deleon Springs was killed from touching a Dow power line this morning. Then a heartbreaking discovery inside this Daytona Beach home where police say a 9-year-old boy died from carbon monoxide poisoning from a generator. The whole street along Mason Park Drive is still in the dark right now after Hurricane Matthew. And News 6's Eric Von Anken joins us there live this evening. Eric, the whole family sickened by these fumes. Bridget, it was a mom, a dad, and two little boys. Now, the family was inside this house. The boy who was killed was in the back of this home. The father was unconscious. The mother, though, she was dazed, still able to run out of this house and run next door and get help. This is Luis Barrios, according to the family friend who gave us this picture, the nine-year-old, she says, who died inside this bedroom at a Daytona Beach home. The landlord took us inside and showed us how the generator, he says, had been placed next to the bed and the sheets blocked the doors and windows as if they insulated the bedroom. Police say it appears the sheets kept the generator fumes, specifically the carbon monoxide contained to the room in the house. 911, where is your emergency? Hi, uh, there's a kid, he's not breathing. He has like a spill on his mouth. A neighbor called 911 saying the boy's mother and father were also affected by the fumes along with his brother. His parents, where is his mom oh, and his one dad? One is on bed, he, he's unconscious and the other one has a, a terrible headache. He, he, she, she's like, a, she has no sense. Now, to the dispatcher's credit, right there, she begins to realize that what she is hearing in that call are the signs of carbon monoxide poisoning, and that's when she tells everyone, she tells the family friend to tell everyone inside this house to get out, probably saving the lives of the rest of the family. Bridget.